up into it. So you're gonna need fabric. Point blank period, you need fabric and you need to upcycle fabric. So you see how this is like some random, you know, fucking sweater piece. What we're gonna do is take our pattern. This is our pattern. And um, we're gonna cut out the shape with a little bit of seam allowance. Now that we've strained everything out, what I like to do is like put a weight on, on my thing and then from here to here will be a seam allowance. So don't ever cut it like right there because that's zero seam allowance. So you're gonna cut it, I'd say half an inch depending on the fabric too. Like this is really stretchy. So we'll go ahead and only do like this half inch seam allowance. Okay. And one thing I'm gonna say is don't feel the need to be perfect when you're cutting fabric out, especially when it's this part because 90% of the time this is, no, absolutely, 100% of the time, this is gonna be sewed. So the only thing you need to be worried about is getting steady with your hand when it comes to sewing on the actual machine because you're gonna want your machine threads to be the perfect, you know, the final, final perfect little thing, because it's gonna be, it's gonna be like that. But yeah, so you have your seam allowance, you know, everything looks good. So yeah, you can use this kind of stuff. I always use scraps to stuff ears, so just keep that aside. This is your pattern, this is your face, this is your base. And I'm gonna plug um, this pattern on a PDF file that you guys can print out and cut it out. I literally just went to a Target and yeah. Make some teddy ears. And I'll save this just in case. Now you don't have to do this. Um, you can always eyeball stuff. I'm an eyeballer, like I tend to, you know, just look at fabric and guesstimate like even with ears i'm guesstimating but for you guys i'm gonna give you like i'm gonna plug patterns because like i already know the shape of my ears like i don't need to have a pattern for me to like successfully create a teddy bear ear so i'm gonna start cutting the shape for the teddy bear ear with seam allowance in mind So this is a like first little, you know, it's pretty good for not having a pattern. Like I'm just, I feel like I, um, I'm just used to kind of guessing. I don't think I've ever used a pattern for like my ears, like my devil horns, my buddy ears. Like I've never used a pattern. Um, I just don't care for it. Cause I know what shape they need to be. Like I really felt my way in the dark when it came to all this shit. So yeah, I'm gonna plug you guys with information. Just like, obviously if I was starting for the first time, it would have been nice to have. Um, all I did was fold that in half to make it more symmetrical. And then, cause it was, you know, connected at the bottom, we went ahead and cut it so that they could be two separate pieces. More scraps. So here we are, one time in our ear. And just to make life easy, and you know, obviously you wanna, replicate what you've done now you don't really want to guesstimate again and that doesn't make sense when you literally cut out a pattern pretty much for yourself I'm just, you just do the same thing so here we are and there's always going to be <clears throat> four pieces okay and you can see the difference of fabric so here is the inside and here is the outside 
And if you can't see the difference in person, it would be a lot easier for you to tell the difference because this will be, I don't know, I'd say like not as fluffy or not as like, like maybe it'll be a different threading way. Like this threading looks kind of different than this one. But yeah, there's ways to tell which one's the inside and which one's the outside. This is the inside, this is the outside. So we need the outsides facing the outside and the insides on the outside. Outsides facing the outsides, insides on the outsides. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's how you need to sew because then you can flip it inside out and it'll be all ready. But yeah, now we have our pieces. We have our stuffing and this is just left over. So let's go ahead and get into actual sewing. What we're gonna start with is those ears that we did inside outside. So we accidentally have one. We have one. Outside, outside, okay. So we got that. the insides on the outside. I'm gonna keep saying that just in case. And we're gonna start to sew right along there. Okay. So, we're sewing along. And like here, I don't use pins cause like, I don't know, I just don't give a fuck really. But we're sewing along. You see this? That's all we're doing. We're just making it some space. And the best way I tell is by this right here. Like this little bit of fabric out. It just kind of helps guide me, you know? And then you're gonna go ahead and chop off this. We did it, we sewed. We have some little threads on here, which is fine. But yeah, we sewed that seam allowance that we allowed. That's why we cut that seam allowance so that we could sew right here. So now we can flip it and we have this, okay? A little socky ear. It's gonna be a little lumpy and bumpy, that's okay. It's not a big deal. I stuff them and then I, I fold them like this. So yeah, I like to stuff them a bit. Now if I feel like my chunks are like not attractive, I'll just like chop them up. Cause you want like pieces to be, I don't know how to explain it, but you want them to be like chunky and not just like long pieces of like random shit. Cause then it won't disperse properly through like what you're trying to do, which is make a fluffy look. So yeah, we got them all in here we might need a little more in this side but yeah it's looking like a cute little fluffy teddy bear ear you know so yeah and i usually pinch this so like right here so yeah uh here we are and then i'm just gonna sew that i can show you guys but i'm just sewing it across the neck <laughs> Um, I switched out desks with my aunt, so I had my aunt's desk up here before, but now she's going to be working remotely, so it's downstairs now, which is why things look different. Okay, so I just sewed it across, like a straight stitch, nothing too intense. Like I started right there and just sewed. <laughs> so I'll do it again, just in case. There's the teddy bear here. Okay, we set that aside. I'm gonna do this one. Obviously, we flip it. 
then I'm gonna show you guys obviously how I sewed the this just in case people are like, no, no, please. I still don't understand. Even though it's so simple. Like I just know how to be. <laughs> so I'm not gonna shit on people. Okay. So we got our second ear. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I sew that from my perspective. Okay, so it's right there. I say, like, you know, obviously it's at the neck. And then we're just gonna go for it. Simple. Easy. Little teddy bear ears. Um, we're gonna put them inside the mask and sew, which in my opinion is like the easiest the quickest, easiest part of this whole process. So yeah, we got our little ears. Okay, here we are, we got our little ears all set up. And we have our, you know, pattern from the very beginning. And this is the outside. This is the outside. These are the insides. What we're gonna do is take that, flip it. Now this is what the outside. Okay. These are the ears. We're gonna place them inward like that. All right, well, you know they're gonna get chopped off. You're gonna place them like that. This is the inside. This is the outside. I know it's hard to tell when, you know, you're not in person, but you'll be able to tell based on how the fabric looks. <clears throat> And little things like the ribbing can give it away too. This one doesn't give it away too much, but yeah. Okay, we're just gonna hyper focus on how to get these as straight as possible. Now I've done the top stitch before. In other words, it means like I sew this without the ears and then I make holes for the ears. But um, I just, have not I don't really fuck with that way I don't know no this is the only time that I use pins just because it makes fucking sense and honestly this is like the only time I like arm wrestle my fucking machine because I don't have like a heavy duty zinger so yeah I tend to have to arm wrestle my machine a little bit for shit like this. Even though it's like not even that intense, it's just like the 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 leg doesn't go up as high as I'd like. Okay. So yeah, we just pin those two. Nothing too crazy. There's not really a way for me to explain that either. Just needed you guys to see, watch that. Now, I'm gonna start sewing it from this angle. I'm gonna go, oh, I'm gonna go along the edge. Of it. Yeah, so we're just gonna sew along. I just want to show you guys how I arm wrestle the ears. Because it's the same type of fucking arm wrestling I go through, even when I do a top stitch. But I didn't go to school for shit, so. Probably why I think these things are so complicated when they're probably not if I would just learn how to construct things. So I pretty much just shoved it under and like I just did some finger work to make sure that the ear got under thank god that this fabric's soft because like this is thick you know what I mean so like and this is how high it goes so I'm having to like push down and <laughs> if that makes any sense like if you don't get it you don't get it but like I'm a visual I'm a hands-on learner so I think that trying to learn visually isn't 
the hardest for me but once i do see something i just learn so what i'm doing i'm shoving it down like i'm literally pushing it down and then sometimes i pull from this side and i understand that like that can make my thread my machine skip stitches but like you gotta do what you gotta do to get underneath this shit like it never even makes an effect most times like my foot is dead ass levitating <laughs> because of that how big that fucking ear is yeah usually you can tell like by this right here is my bobbin still full yep i don't feel like i was moving for a second there Yeah, my foot was like digged into the fabric. And the thing is, is like, you'll realize like certain things are wrong with your machine. The more you fucking use it. But yeah, like I said, this little piece right here is really telling me, like, I know you're supposed to use these and shit, but like, I just think that this tells me. So what I do is I go in here and I just clean it up. Okay, so the mask is finished. Um, I didn't get to show you guys pretty much how we flip it inside out and then we cut the incision, but that's what you do. Like you flip it inside out after you cut the beautiful outside, <laughs> the little trim off, and then you go down a couple of inches if you don't have a mannequin head. My rule of thumb was to just go about three to four inches down from, your, from the top of the mask and yeah. So yeah. Here is the little guy. Yep. And now I have two of these freaking masks, but who the fuck cares? I'm gonna take it off and just hold him. Ah. So yeah. Um, depending on your fabric too, the mask will always vary in a way. But yeah. Um. You can always make your mask shorter. Um, you can make a fucking beanie. But yeah. Um, I just hate that this, that it ended before I finished showing you guys. Pretty much just flipping it inside out and then cutting a hole. Like it's just a hole. And then you stretch it a little bit. Yeah, I just wanted to put it on him because I'm not about to put it on me. I'm literally about to go to work, so. Yeah, I'm out here hustling for y'all. I'm out here making masks and going to fucking, well, not making masks, but like making these tutorials so y'all can thrive and have your own business. Um, yeah, this is the first tutorial. It's all done. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to be doing the devil mask next. I know it's pretty, the devil mask was pretty requested, but um, yeah, I'm going to do that one next. <laughs> And yeah, if you're really, if you're wanting to see it, just go ahead and put the notification bell on so you guys can, you know, get notified when I'm in the fucking post. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully yours came out that way. If not, you can DM me on Instagram. We can chat. I can help you one on one if you need it. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, babe.